What's up y'all, it's Shriven Outside here in Alaska, Low Holly, and if you want to learn how to do this design, keep watching. Okay y'all, we're gonna hop right into the video. This is her before, I did these about two and a half weeks ago. And now we're going to do start with the airbrush. Okay, so I take my airbrush that I got from Amazon. I will leave the link in the comment section. I put some acetone in there and then the color that I want as the airbrush effect, I put a couple drops of polish, gel polish into there. Um, I would say to do at least three of those little scoops that I did. Sometimes I overdo it. Um, but anyways, I take my dotting tool and I mix the color into the acetone so everything is, you know, comes out evenly and I want to make sure that I get all of the polish on the sides because we do not need polish going to waste because it'd be expensive, okay? occurred on there because we do not need freaking polish jumping at our faces okay I like to take another napkin and my airbrush was dead so I had to plug it in that's so embarrassing um but I fill that little dappen dish with acetone so that I can clean it up once I am finished airbrushing so the napkin I like to place underneath the finger so that the color when I airbrush isn't going everywhere. So now we start getting into the fun part. I like to test the color out on the napkin for a couple reasons. One, to make sure I know what color it's going to come out as because you might have leftover color in from the time before if you don't properly clean it. And two, which is very important, and it is the pressure that I will be pulling the trigger down at. And that is the most important part because if you pull it too hard, you're going to get splat, splat. And if you pull it too light, nothing's going to come out and you're going to be like, what the heck? What I like to do is start out about two inches away from the nail so that you can see where the center of the nail is and where your airbrush is spraying. Once you figure out the center, start going in towards the nail so that that middle section is a deeper color. because as you can see when you airbrush it kind of gets on the skin so I take my brush dip it in the acetone and start cleaning up around the nail and I do that for all fingers and then we stick it in the lamp to cure and then we move on to the next hand And I want you to take note of how I'm moving her fingers from side to side all the time to make sure that I'm getting both sides of her nails. Why you hear me when you know you know better? Know you know better? Know you feel better than you do? 
Got me looking for you. I'll be looking for you. Got me looking for you. The weekend. So now we are repeating that same exact process. I'm just putting a little bit more oomph into the middle part to make it darker because I really want that middle part to stick out. You don't have to do this part if you are happy with the way that it looks. I like to do this part because I really wanted that orange to be orange in. So stupid 
to start painting our flowers, I have my dotting tool, my art brush, and my color palette, or my paint palette, whatever you want to call it. And I'm going to make three dots. I'm going to do that five times. These are going to be the petals of our flower. to do this on all five fingers and then go through with my art brush and do the details and stuff um, it's just easier for me and I think it cuts down my time but if you would like you can make the dots on one finger and then go through with your lines and then move on to the next finger but because I already have the dotting tool in my hand I'm gonna do everything that I need to do with the dotting tool and then everything I need to do with the art brush but again, it is up to you. Figure out what works for you. There is no right or wrong way. Hey. Truck to the plane, to the truck. Truck to the hotel lobby. Me, I go through underground garages. Presidential suite on deposit. Elevator up to the room. Shower up and then we hit the club. Touchdown, gotta see what's up. Area code in my phone. What numbers do I still have? Who do I know from the past? Hit one, she say she got a man. Hit another one, it goes green. Must have changed foes on the team. Remember when you let me in between? That was 2017. All good, chug a look around. Find one to see my type. Damn, my dog, and he know what I like. He done found me plenty in my life. Problem is, I meet a girl tonight. Then I go and treat her too nice. Gallery of credit card swipes. I don't even know if she a wife. But I do know one thing, though. Women, they come, they go. Saturday through Sunday, Monday. Monday through Sunday, yo. Now I'm taking my art brush and I'm just drawing li little lines to the center but I don't want them to connect because I am going to put a dot in the middle with a line um, to make it look more tropical. Um, that's just the design that I wanted to go for but you can literally do this part however you want and that is the dope part about being a nail tech and doing hand painted art. There is no right or wrong way. It is art. Okay, so whatever you want to do, you can do. It is your art, girlfriend. Jury in the safe on arrival. Pistol on J for survival. A lot of people gunning for the title. A lot of people trying to take us viral. I'm just trying to have a nice night. The waiter brought a check for the meal. She said, babe, I think there was a typo. Nah, girl, I got it. That's like, yo, I can show you bigger things than that. It's going to be a minute till I'm back. Let me get your images that last. I didn't want the lines to be super straight. I didn't want the petals to be exactly the same because I think it just looks better when they're not. <laughs> um, but then I decided that I'm going to add these little swipey things um, because that is what her inspo picture called for. Um, I will try to put the inspo picture somewhere throughout this video um, just so you can see. But I think that having the little, I don't know what they're called, swoops and the dots next to the swoops <laughs> just kind of pulled everything together and gave it that little razzle dazzle that it needed. <laughs>
top coat I am using my not polished top coat gloss it because we are doing these glossy so I'm gonna fast forward through this part because we all know how to top coat I hope and we all just know this process <laughs> Just before this, I didn't record it, but I re-filed her nails so that the shape was looking nice and sharp because we all know that sometimes after we apply top coat, it can look a little bulky and I don't like that look and I try to avoid it. So I go through with my file and just resharpen the edges because I just love the way sharp edges look. So right now I'm prepping her nails for these lovely pictures and videos that we are about to take because content is key. I don't know how to stress that enough. Um, so what I do is I flip their nail and or flip their hand and position them to whatever pose I want them to be in. And then I can see if I missed anything when I went through and filed. Um, obviously here I did. So I'm just fixing that and taking all the little dusties off and stuff that just was not supposed to be there. And that concludes our video for today. I'm going to link the airbrush that I have in the description down below. I hope you enjoyed it. This design is super beginner friendly. And if you do not have an airbrush, I highly suggest you get one because there's so many cute designs that you can do with it. For example, this one. Okay, this one is super cute if your client is going on a tropical vacation or they're just getting ready for summer. If you are not following me on social media, what are you doing? Subscribe to my YouTube channel, follow me on Instagram, TikTok. I'm going to put my username on the screen. I promise your journey is going to be 10 times easier if you just follow me so with that being said your favorite nail tech from alaska is out bye so the next one